Before we get into this demonstration, stop, pause, do me a favor real quick. Go over to my other YouTube channel, Dangerous Criminals. Go over there and check that demonstration out when you get some time. Make sure you like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Peace and love. If you hood educated, I'm glad you made it. Allow me to unfold my knowledge, wisdom, and understanding from a hood brother's point of view to all of you here, there, and everywhere. Now check me out. Now, before I get into this demonstration, allow me to say something real quick, and then we're going to get into the demo, right? Uh, Mama Duck has been catching a lot of flack just from all type of peoples, man. I'm talking about like they talking crazy to the woman and stuff like that, all because she is happy about uh, the conviction of the men that killed her son, right? Now, understand some y'all. This is backwards. This is backwards thinking. All the people that are mad at Mama Duck because she is happy because of the guys that got convicted, for killing her son, you need to have your head examined, please. Because this is backwards thinking. This is that gutter thought. This is that bullshit. This is a mother. Now, I understand. Yes, of course. Uh, there are going to be people that's going to be hurt. Why? Because all them six brothers, they finna go to the penitentiary. And they facing a mandatory life sentence in prison. That hurts. I understand that. But FBG Duck is no longer here. He's in the spiritual. He gone. And not only that, allow me to say this right here. For all you people who are upset at this woman for being excited and happy about the conviction of the men that killed her son. Understand this right here. Them boys is facing a life sentence, mandatory, right? Do y'all understand if it wasn't for Mama Duck, them boys will be facing death, lethal injection, okay? So let's calm down. Let the woman do what she gonna do. Come on, that's her son, like y'all... This is pathetic, but this is that backwards way of thinking. We gotta, we gotta expand our horizons. We gotta start looking at the big picture. And a lot of y'all don't even know this woman and y'all just in the comments, just like being disrespectful, like to somebody mama, knowing damn well if somebody treated y'all mama the way that y'all trying to treat this sister, y'all will be trying to kill her. Let's keep it real. Now, Draw off this right here, y'all. Here it is. These six brothers, young men, are looking at a mandatory life sentence in prison. Do y'all understand something? I, and I gotta, I gotta put this out there for the youngsters and, and for the people that think that they just do small, minute things and crimes, and it's not a big deal. That Kenny Mac and to Carlos is facing a mandatory life sentence for driving. They ain't shot nobody. They ain't jump out the car, hit nobody with a pistol. They ain't ran nobody over with a car. Nothing. None of that. All they did was drive the killers downtown. The killers jumped out and did what they did. They hopped back in and they drove them right back to Old Block. Not a big deal, right? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Because I want y'all to understand some of my classic, and, and you young brothers, especially men and women, young sisters and young brothers, understand that when you participate in a crime, 
I don't care how minute it is. If you participate in any type of way of a crime, you are just as guilty as the person that's actually doing the crime. So when you get somebody that come to you and say, hey, look, check it out. I just need you to look out for me. We finna go ride down on these fools. I need you to just look out. Do you understand that that, that looking out attaches you to the murder or attempted murder or the shooting or aggravated robbery, whatever. All that, just look out for me. Hey, man, I just need you to drive for me real quick. Just let me out around the corner, then meet me around it. Any type of participation in a crime makes you guilty as if you committed the actual crime. You young brothers and sisters need to understand that because it don't sound like nothing. Oh, I'm just driving the car. I ain't killing nobody. Oh, I'm just going to the store to go buy the bullets. I ain't killing nobody. Oh, I'm, I'm just looking out. He just want me to stand here for five minutes. I ain't killing nobody. I ain't robbing nobody. I ain't doing nothing. Yes, you are. You are participating. Not only that, you're helping someone commit a illegal crime. That's what you're doing. So understand that. Because here it is, we got Kenny Mac and we got Carlos facing a mandatory life sentence for driving. Just for driving. You could, I'm talking about, in their wildest dreams, they would not think that they would be looking at life just for doing this here. Stopping that red lights and stuff. Followed all the rules all the way there. We ain't running no red lights or nothing. Law abiding. Get down there, you let killers out the car. Come on now, look. Understand that. I need to reiterate that. you Y'all need to understand that. Somebody come to you saying, hey, look, I need you to think about what I'm telling you and say, no, nah, hood educator gave me some game. He, no, nah, I can't. Man, we just finna go hit these fools real quick. Man, I just hit this lick. I just need you to. Ah, no, nah, bro, you know, I... I Gotta go pick up my kids, bro. I gotta go pick up my daughter, my son, man. But well, damn, look, I gotta go to work. This is my wife on the phone, right? This is my girl. You know how she is. Get out the way. Don't participate. Because if you do, you can end up just like the Carlos and Kenny Mac. Now, draw off this right here, y'all. Everybody, and I'm talking about everybody that was associated with that war between 63rd and O Block needs to be paranoid, scared, schizophrenic, shaking in their boots, going to go put money on lawyers and everything right now. And let me explain to you why. The feds are not satisfied with solving the murder of FBG Duck. What? Good, educated. Come on, brother. You got to be... Come on. They just solved a big crime. And, and listen, I hear y'all. But the feds are not satisfied. And let me explain to y'all why. The feds want those unsolved murders. Yeah. The feds understand that it was a war between O'Block and all their associates. 63rd and all their associates for years. And a lot of people died in that war. Multiple young men and women died. The feds want to know about those bodies. Yeah. And why all the people that participated in that type of stuff who are out there laughing, giggling, and kicking it right now like they got away with murder. Those six brothers that's locked up, yeah, they know about them bodies. They was a part of the war. They was there. They participated. The feds want to holler at them about those bodies. You got to understand that. That is just what the feds do. The feds greedy. They greedy. The feds want to connect the dots. Yeah, we done broke, we done broke y'all down, but no, we we want them other bodies. Yeah, that's what we want. We want everything. You see what I'm saying? The feds don't play like that. Like the state, they get happy, throw parties on once they solve a crime. 
No, the feds look deep. And they understand that now that them six brothers that they got locked up, that pressure, that pressure is on them. Yeah. Man, listen, them boys is in there right now. Muwap is out telling people to pray for him and everything. Yeah, that pressure. You understand, once you get in that, once you get in that cell and you facing that all that time, you get religious and everything, you, you ain't even know you can pray until them people get to talking about, we gonna hit you with a mandatory life sentence. All of a sudden, you know everybody, Jesus, Muhammad, Buddha, Confucius, Abraham, you praying to Arab Ishmael, you praying to people that you ain't even got no business praying to. You just need some help, you reaching, hey, somebody come get this burden up off of me. Get this life sentence that they trying to throw on my back. Get that up off me. You see what I'm saying? So understand that the feds know this. And they are going to try to flip them boys up in there. You better believe that. You got to. It might not be immediately. Because they might want to put them on ice for a little while. And then they going to come. If not. One of the old block members, they might come before the feds come. They get that life sentence. Uh, you send us to the mandatory life, you're going to die in prison. Mm -hmm. I can't die in prison. Uh, Y'all know about the murders that happened back in 2015, 17, 18, 19, and 2012. I got great details about all those bodies. What y'all got for me? Turn me loose and I'm going to tell y'all everything. And everybody that did it, they still alive and all. You know what I'm saying? Because, look, we can't act like that they don't do that. There's multiple people that are out right now for telling about them dead bodies. Come on, y'all. We got to keep it real. And so, come on. This, this situation right here is no different. Now, here's one thing, right? that everybody need to pay close attention to. According to reports, the feds don't want to know nothing about Lil Dirt involvement with Old Block, with King Bond, or with Muwap. The feds don't want to know nothing about that. And the hood educated lie detector test would determine that's a lie. Yeah, that's a lie. Do y'all think that the federal government that seen King Von like this with Lil Dirt, that seen Muwap like this with Lil Dirt, that at some point while these boys is doing that time, that they ain't gonna come to Muwap and say, hey man, uh, what's up with Lil Dirt? If they not already. Uh, did Lil Dirt uh, know anything about the FBG duck murder? Did he play any type of role? I don't care how minute. Did he play any type of role in the FBG duck murder? If y'all think that they are not finna come and try to question Muwap, y'all gotta be out your mind. You gotta be. Because we gotta understand something. They done said the man's name multiple times during the trial. That tells us. He hood educated, not lane related. They looking at him. They looking at him. And not only that, we got to think about something, y'all. These guys was close. Close. Now, from a gangbanger's perspective, hear me out. From a gangbanger's perspective, uh, I would be shocked if Lil Dirk ain't know nothing about what happened to FBG Duck. I would be shocked. I'm not saying that he participated. I'm saying that if he didn't know anything about it. And let me explain to y'all why. In gang culture, uh, you want to brag about the things that you do so that you can get the clout. Stupid, dumb, yes it is. I'm talking about the dumbest in the world, but that's how you get the clout. If you out here game banging and you killing people and you can't tell nobody or don't nobody know you did the murder, what's the use? 
what's the use of doing all that killing? Can't nobody say that, hey, look, them vice lords over there, the one that killed dude now. Gangs want the recognition. That's why they got the RICO thing. They, wh What is RICO all about? Gaining notoriety for the gang by committing crimes. So this is what gangs do. Hey, look, man, uh, some type of way it gets out that them over there is the one that killed them over there. And being that these guys was, was this close, King Von and Lil Dirk like this, Muwap and Lil Dirk like this, not one time them boys ain't say, hey, bro, look. <laughs> yeah, man, you know, dude, man, yeah. Dude. That they not once told him what was going on. Or if he didn't participate, because we don't know. I'm not saying that he did. So all Lil Dirk fans, calm down. Yeah, I'm, I'm not talking bad about your true Lord and Savior. I'm not, little dirt, yes. I'm not talking bad about him. I'm just keeping it real. I'm just, look, I, the truth hurt. It's the body blows the truth. It hurts. But if you in the streets, you know what I'm talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. There is no way, none whatsoever, that King Von and Muwap didn't sit down or, or solo sit down with Lil Dirk and let him know what was going on. And I'm not talking about beforehand because I don't know. But I'm I'm almost sure after, yeah, yeah, hey, look, we the ones that, you know what I'm saying? Game bankers need that notoriety. They need that. Why? Because that's how they get their clout. That's how they get feared. They don't get feared just because they got a name called Bulldog and then 357. No, shoot them up, let loose on them, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, these guys, they got to live up to these. What's your name? My name is Let Loose. Okay, then with that, you letting that thing loose. My name is Splat. That, you Splat them. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, they got to live up to these type of names. Now, keeping it real, some people get these type of hardcore names and they don't do nothing. That's them. But the most, the mass majority of people that got names, they don't have those names for nothing. Uh, For an example, Chief Keith, how many murders is Chief Keith associated with? None. He's a good rapper. Talk about murder. Talk crazy. He's not associated with none of that. He's just a good dude, a good rapper out of old block. King Von. Yeah, now we talking. Yeah, you see, you see how things change? Yeah. How do how do we know? We're not even in Chicago. How do we know about all the supposedly bodies that King Von got? Game bangers got to do this. They got to tell somebody so somebody can tell somebody so it can get out there that I'm the big bad wolf. I will lay you down. Don't play with me. I don't play games. I'm the big bad wolf. Not you. You are sheep. You see what I'm saying? So that rule right there, that rule applies to everybody. And, and for game bangers and stuff, y'all know I'm not lying, bro. Y'all, come on. Y'all know I'm not. Now, uh, did Lil Dirk participate is the question. Did, it, did he participate in any type of way? That's the question. But we got to believe in our mind that the feds want to know about Lil Dirk. And Lil Dirk got to know that too, if he's smart. And the thing that possibly make Dirk suspect is this right here. When Muwap caught that murder, what Lil Dirk did, unfollowed him on Instagram. Um, yeah, he done said free Muwap a couple of times. Ain't no harm in that right there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what a lawyer money at? What a support at? I'm talking about the real support though. You know, like where's the, you know, how you supposed to be with your guys when y'all locked in like this? You know what I mean? It wasn't none of that. 
Um, the boys done got convicted. I ain't seen Lil Dirk say nothing about man free move up. Well, that's sad. Don't worry about it. I got your babies and none that. And and you know he ain't got to say that. Let's just be honest. He ain't got to put that out there. He ain't got to say that. And he ain't got to put none of that business out there. But we're living in that age and time where we're used to people just letting everybody in the world know about their business. But for him to unfollow Muwap after that, it looks suspect. For him to speak more about uh, uh, Young Thugs, Rico, and he didn't follow, he didn't unfollow Young Thug, it looks suspect. You know what I mean? And not only does it look suspect, but it is smart at, at the same time. It's smart. And, and let me explain to you why. Uh, you want to dissociate yourself from that type of conduct, especially if you ain't got nothing to do with it. But here's what I want you young, young brothers and you young sisters and you classic brothers and sisters to, to know before I depart. Understand something. When you plan in these streets and you kill something, uh, the gang that you so gang gang with and all that type of stuff, a lot of the times they, dis they disassociate themselves from you. They don't want, look, you hot, you downtown for a murder. Don't call my phone, bruh. You know we out here killing. Don't call my phone. You hot. Don't expect me to come and see you to give you no Lord. None of that. You hot. And that's just how it goes. When you catch them bodies and stuff like that, gang, gang, ain't gang, gang no more. They got to abandon you. They got to disassociate themselves from you. Why? Because they still out there committing crimes while you locked up. They don't need no light on them, so they're going to abandon you. Yeah, while you down there fighting for your life, they are going to abandon you. And the only person that you're going to have in your is your baby mama. She going to stay down for a little bit until you get your time. Uh, your real mama, cousins and stuff like that, and your children or whatever. You know, them the type of people that's going to hold you down. And you've been neglecting them the whole time while you was out running with this gang. But them going to be the people that's going to hold you down while you sitting up there fighting for your life. That's your only access to the gang. You got to talk to mama and them and sister and them. Hey, go tell uh, Pookie and them, you know what I'm saying, to uh, drop a few dollars on my books or get a few dollars from them. That's the only way that they going to associate with you, third party. Once you get convicted, then they going to, hey, hey, what's up, bro? Yeah, call the phone. Case over with now. They ain't got nothing to worry about. You ain't told nothing. You see what I'm saying? Now it's, hey, what's up? Hey, man, nah. And that's only going to last for a certain amount of time before that dies out. So all these videos you see of these guys getting out of prison and they friends are sitting there waiting for them and they got all this money for them and these chains and stuff. That's fake. That's not how it go. That is not how it go in real life. No, so don't believe that, hey, they did it, and that's how they did it. It don't happen like that. These is rappers getting out of jail. These guys is rappers. These rappers. These guys are not real gangsters that's out there really putting in work for real. These guys are entertainers. This is a part of their entertainment. When you see them getting out of the jail, and then they got cars pulling up and all that. Yeah. So, look. What I need to tell y'all is this right here. Don't fall for it. Don't be a part of nobody crimes and don't believe nobody lies. Because your choices and your decisions determine the outcome of your life in the future. This is hood educated, not lame related. Peace and love and y'all take care of yourself out there. If I said anything that caused you to think, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. And if you're feeling generous, please make a small donation to the channel. Now, before I depart, allow me to give a shout out to some of the blessings that I received this week. Fred Cunningham for the $3 cash app. Ricky Cole for the $5 cash app. Renee Robinson for the $5 cash app. Dorothy Forsay for the $20 cash app. Byron for the $20 cash app. Brandon uh, Murchison for the $5 cash app. Maurice McCurry West for the $25 cash app. Uh, Michael for the $10 cash app. Frederick Richard for the $3 cash app. Uh, Tarika Bras for the $2 super thanks. Corey uh, Russell for the $1.99 super thanks. 
I appreciate all y'all. Thank y'all for all the love and support. This is Hood Educated, not Lane Related. Peace and love. And y'all take care of yourself out there.